also concerned, but as Murray Moore reports, none of that seems to make much difference to Errol Hodgins, a man who has not got the best track record when it comes to caring for animals. <coughs> It's, it's, it's a shocking turnout. It's a disgusting turnout. It's not the dogs, it's the man. The man's the trouble, not the dogs. Betty Easing is outraged by the way this man, Errol Hodgins, treats his dogs. I think that this is the, the, the greatest thing of cruelty that I've ever seen. Why cruelty? Well, the dogs, are, the dogs are belted, the dogs are neglected. They're not bathed, they're not cleaned, they, they're not wormed. As that one's howling now, they'll howl all day and all night. Betty and her neighbours, George and Les, retired to the country for a little peace and quiet. But four months ago, Errol Hodgins arrived with his pack. They're coming home, they're smelling the stink and the flies. It's been unbearable. You walk outside, you've got to use a hanky all the time over your yourself, otherwise you just bring the inside up. Doesn't he keep the yard clean? No. Oh, he race up a bit and just dumps it over the back, so you're back to square one again. He's awful, Jagger. Well, I've been on my travel from north to south, and I never met a fellow like it. Yeah, well, you couldn't meet a fellow like it. Mr. Hodgins has been in the dog trade for 20 years. You may have seen his advertisements for bull Arabs, a breed kennel club say doesn't exist. But it's not the breeding that concerns the local council. It's the number of dogs. Has he got any permits for these dogs? None whatsoever. Alan Downs is a health surveyor with the Mamulan Bar Council. Do you think the dogs are well cared for? Well, they don't look too healthy to me. And the conditions under which they're being kept are deplorable. The stench of urine and, and feces is, is unbearable, to say the least. It's not the first time authorities have complained about Errol Hodgins. He has five convictions in Victoria for cruelty to dogs and still hasn't paid the fines. In Queensland, he has been convicted 28 times for both fraud involving the sale of so-called bull Arabs and failing to supply water and food. In fact, a Queensland magistrate has banned Errol Hodgins from ever having a dog for the rest of his life. But that court order only applies in Queensland. It doesn't stop him from operating here, just 13 kilometres over the border. I've seen him belt them. I've seen him pick one up and belt it three times against the side of the house. The dog laid there, I don't know whether it was hurt, dead or what it was. And I went inside and I cried. I did, I cried. Bashes them up. He picks them up high on himself. He's a tall man. He brings them on the ground three times, and they get up and walk away on three legs. You've seen him do that? I've seen him do it. And he holds them up with the front legs and kicks them in the stomach six times and drops them on the ground. Have you seen that? Yep. Have you tried to talk to him about that? Well, as soon as you say something, you say, shut your mouth. Naturally, yeah, yeah. we were anxious to talk to Errol Hodgins. And here's... What happened? If you've got a problem with your dogs. Out of the yard. Quick. Out of the yard. Me, Mr. Hodgins, do you... Out of the yard. Out of the yard. Quick. Mr. Hodgins, who, I think you're... Who told you to get in? Out of the yard. Quick. Marco would like to ask you some questions about the dogs here. You're banned from owning dogs in Queensland, aren't you? Out of the yard. And I mean now. Does the... You know... You've, you've got a bloody hide, you people. Do you think I'm you might here. have... Out. Do you think you might have a hide, Out. Mr. Hodgins? Out. Do you think you might Out. have a hide? Out. That's a council you're doing it to. Out of the yard, quick. Mr. You Hutchins. bloody people have got to hide. To come in here and bloody barge your way in here. No, do you want to have a talk to us and be sensible? What do you want to talk about? No, why? I'm on the phone and I'm not going to talk to you until I'm ready. What right have you got to have all these dogs here? This is a rural area and the State Dog Act, is, there's no problem at all. This is a rural area, understand? Do you know that the owner of the property is upset with that? Mutt, but this dog is 